And there they go. And there goes Mounted Cop and Oxley Gap. Mounted Cop quicker. Oxley Gap lets him clear away. So there is the pace scenario immediately out of the gate. Count on America third. Rory Moore is fourth. I'm going to Johnny Action. Thank you. And Derry is the last of seven. And the pace is pretty good with Mounted Cop. Now Oxley Gap's going to turn up the pressure through the early stages. And the pace is pretty lively. Mounted Cop and Oxley Gap from his outside. And they separate by seven lengths or eight lengths back to Count on America in a beautiful spot from third. Better than three and a half to Rory Moore. Another two and a half to thank you. Similar margin to Derry. And at the back of the pack is Johnny Action. Indeed, the pace is lively. 23 and three fifths. Oxley Gap now pokes his head in front of Mounted Cop. Count on America sets the trip. Now he's nine lengths off the pace. Three to Rory Moore. Three and a half for four to thank you. Another three to Derry and Johnny Action now gearing up. Johnny Action finding his stride as he's closing into the sixth position, but he has a lot of work to do. Oxley Gap, the Black Mamba, comes away with the lead from Mounted Cop, who has done all the dirty work trying to set it up for his stable mate, Derry. Now Count on America is beginning to fire. He's been getting the best trip, and Count on America's rolling into the scene, and we better recognize him. He has Oxley Gap in his sights, and he's going to get first run on both Thank You and Rory Moore. So here's Count on America up to the front. He sat the trip up the back stretch, and he's the one to gun down. Thank You is hitting his best stride to the far outside. Count on America beat him to the punch. Count on America with the lead. Thank you's trying to come and get him late, but it will be Count on America. He looked like the winner up the back stretch, and it is Count on America in the Monday opener. From Thank You, Oxley Gap and Johnny Action up for fourth at 17 to 1 for the Super. 72 exact to $21. 724 trifecta, $13.62. The dollar super, 7246, the winning combination, $85.50. Second race, scratch six, them's fight in words. Number six, them's fight in words. Scratch from race two. Number five, little Matty Brown will post position one. And there they go. Good start for Papa Tombi, Palace Candy, and Triton Song. Three gun for the early lead. Palace Candy is the quickest. From the outside, we have little Matty Brown striding into the fourth spot. Sin could be his fifth. And the favorite, Fusilli, is the last of six. And he's a little more than four lengths from the front. Long shot, Palace Candy, a length to Papa Tombi, pushing from his outside and making his move. Triton Song from the rail. Little Matty Brown, the lone debuters in the clear. Two and a half off the lead at the three eights. And Syncope tries to close in. Somewhat of a tight spot for him. And Fusilli will have to bide his time from the inside. It's very wide open and it's very compact. They're clustered like grapes on a vine turning for home. Papa Tombi. And here comes Syncope. And here comes Fusilli. One from the outside. Extreme outside is little Matty Brown. Papa Tombi. Let's not forget about Triton. Right and Zong trying to push on through from the rail. Little Matty Brown to the stand side, outrunning his odds in his initial look. And look at him level off in the late stages. Little Matty Brown at 29 to 1. Papa Tom B second, then Trident Zong Fusilia dis. Second race is in the books. Officially five seven one two seven five early double seventy four dollars fifty cents. Exact to one hundred seventy dollars. Try and there they go. Lone Lake bounds away from post position six, and she has the lead from Treater Like a Star and Eyes on You. And also there from between runners is American Mission. Fun and Games is fifth beyond L from her outside. Annie Rocks is the last of seven. Loon Lake is the speed of the speed. A few pursuers. Eyes on you. Also there, treat her like a star. American Mission was in a tight spot. She's losing ground. Passed by Beyond L with a little momentum at the 3 8 Beyond L gets within three lengths of Loon Lake. Annie Rocks from the inside is third last. Then Fun and Games, American Mission relegated to the rear. And Loon Lake is the one to step up and beat. Loon Lake has controlled the pace and she turns for home in front. Eyes on you stays close, so too does Treater Like a Star now coming under pressure. Beyond L with a wide journey, and it's Loon Lake at the eighth pole with the lead, a widening two and a half, and Loon Lake is giving them the slip. It's time to give Loon Lake a big high five. She's the first 
five-time winner of the season. Two in a row, five out of six, and her ninth career victory. Trader like a star's mare, Loon Lake. First five-time winner of the season. The exacta, $8.70. The trifecta, $6.25. The dollar super, $37.25. Five, six, double, $102.756. Early pick three, $45.75. Fourth race will start our Monday pick five, $10,000 gear. Pick five time. And there they go, and it's a pretty good start for all. Ida Side gets the jump on Easy Banker, but Easy Banker is making up ground quickly. Ida Side an early lead. Easy Banker to her inside. Then Score Girl, Score Peggy Sue, and Bell Kawore from the far outside. Tribeca Girl isolated in sixth, and she's a little more than five and a half off the lead. Almost five lengths to Golden Galaxy Girl. Then we go to once is forever. And Jamrock's Rule is the last of nine. And Easy Banker makes her move for the lead. Easy Banker from Ida side. Bell Kawori three and a half off the lead midway through the turn. And Peggy Sue has more than five lengths to find. Score Girl score is six and a half from the front from the rail. They're going to try Becca Girl. Long ways back to Golden Galaxy Girl. Shamrock's Rule and once is forever. Easy Banker and Ida side. They're hooked up in a big time battle. Three sixteenths from the line and easy banker has the lead there come some of the late players tribeca girl peggy sue far outside golden galaxy girl is storming home and here comes triple g to the extreme outside golden galaxy girl above and beyond all easy banker second score girl score third and fourth place The double six nine thirty eight dollars twenty cents. Nine two one trifecta sixty. Third try here, and there they go. Gonna be Morgan begins quickly. Grandarella has been eager from the very beginning. She has the lead. Grandarella from Sydney, sweetie. Long shot Lexoya wants to push. Sarah, you it is. Fires into fourth. Gonna be Morgan fifth. And they're going to twice for Honey and Starlight Mission in the clear from the far outside. And Soxy Ruby is five lengths off the leaders and the early trailer is late running play in Disco. On the front end, Grandarella, Sydney Sweetie from between gals and Lexoya from the rail. Sarah Hewitt is four wide and Starlight Mission. She's out there in La La Land, in No Man's Land, a Starlight Mission. She's five wide at the 3 8 At least she gets a clear path to pursue from. Twice for Honey and Soxy Ruby have about four and four and a half to find. And Play and Disco's threading her way from between runners. And here comes the late runner, Play and Disco, looking for somewhere to go. Along the inside is going to be Morgan. They turn for home. Sarah you it is to tackle Sydney. Sweetie, Sarah you it is gets to the front. There comes play and disco. She continues to close inside of Starlight Mission. And Sydney Sweetie re rally. Sydney Sweetie play and disco. Starlight Mission. Sarah you it is gonna be Morgan late on the scene. Here comes play and disco after Sydney Sweetie with Starlight Mission. A three way thriller. And it's Sydney Sweetie score. A double training double for two. The top four finishers. The exact to thirty-six dollars forty cents. The trifecta thirty-four dollars. The dollar super three hundred ninety-four dollars fifty cents. A nine-seven double seventy-one dollars. Six nine-seven pick three thirty dollars sixty-two cents. On to the sixth full field of twelve for these two-year-olds. Two-year-old. And there they go. And throwing stones is showing that expected speed. She pops the starting gate. Delaware Destiny wants to go. Trivia's pushing the pace. She has the green silks. I'm going to Bellamy's party girl outside a flurry of roses. Flowers fortune from the outside. Then not now Donald Garrigdy's girl. Pageant is about six lengths off the pace and she's four lengths in front of star manager. Another three back to purple Melinda and leave me alone is the last of 12 and on the front end Delaware Destiny almost a length of throwing stones and trivia's out running her odds to the three eights. She's in the clear pressing two lengths from the front. Flurry of roses and Pageant have fortified. Flowers fortune giving way just a bit with her wide journey now six from the front Bellamy's party girl tries to commence a bit up the inside they go to not now Donald Gurgi's girl following them three links behind them is purple Melinda the last two are star manager and leave me alone and they swing into the lane and Delaware destiny has been confronted by throwing stones up the inside there 
And now making a move is Passion. So it's Passion now making your move. Passion and throwing stones in Delaware Destiny and Flurry of Roses. Passion comes away with the lead. It's Passion from throwing stones. And Flowers Fortune tries to re-rally, but her stablemate Passion wins the money. It's Passion getting it done. Second and third very tight. In New York by her owners, Twin Creeks Farm, along with Steve Golding, Melody Golding, and Dennis Steger. And race six is official. Seven six double thirty five dollars forty cents nine seven six pick three ninety eight dollars twenty five cents. The all Maya Engelhart exact to eighty nine dollars fifty cents six eleven four try. And there they go in the 58th running of the New York Breeders' Futurity Stakes. And Thin White Duke walked out of the starting gate. He's almost a dozen or more behind the leaders. And it is the filly Blame It On Mary who secures the top spot immediately leaving the gate. She has nearly three lengths already on Blue Gator. And Citizen K vies for third inside of the debuting Sproles. Our man Mike is six lengths from the front, and it must be seven lengths to Thin White Duke, who has a ton of work to do. 22 and three fifths, and blame it on Mary is all alone with the lead, still working with nearly three. Blue Gator now cuts into the margin. He's making it closer, heading into the far turn run. So it is blame it on Mary at diminishing length. And to the outside is the undefeated Blue Gator. And our man Mike gets within three and a half. Blue Gator looks tough past the quarter pole. Thin White Duke rolls into fourth. Blue Gator off the turn, the one to beat. Our man Mike tries to rally. Blame it on Mary, still clinging to second. Blue Gator lugging in, he's all over the rail. Our man Mike is closing. They're going to Thin White Duke who can't overcome the start. It's Blue Gator. Blue Gator remains undefeated. He's very talented. He wins the 58th running of the New York Breeders' Futurity under Ray Lou Gutierrez. Blue Gator from our man Mike. Thin White Duke. 6-5 exact to $25.20. Six six double seventeen dollars sixty cents seven six six pick three forty three dollars sixty two cents six five now and there they go and Wow Brown is showing plenty of speed with forward motions and Nato wants to go San Juan Diego secures a nice spot immediately out of the gate from the far outside and Magic Roy comes away running in fifth with my man Mo in the two path. Gold Cross is five lengths off the lead, flanked by Posse Tisley. Coach Villa, third last, anything possible. Second last, can't we all get along, is the last of 11. And forward motion is up to the lead. To his outside is Wow Brown. To his inside is Magic Roy and Zanato's pushing. And San Juan Diego finds himself five deep at the three-eighths, a length and a half. Separates the top quintet. My man Mo is isolated in sixth, and he's five lengths from the front. A length back to anything possible with a wide journey outside of Posse Tisley. Gold Cross is third last. Coach Villa has been headed by Can't We All Get Along, and they turn into the lane, and here's Wow Brown on the turn back. Wow Brown gets to the lead, and San Juan Diego's been running a big one from the very beginning. Wow Brown, the leader at the eighth pole. San Juan Diego, San Juan Diego chases him. Wow Wow Brown, tough. San Juan Diego testing him all the way to the wire. Wow Brown in the nightcap. Wow Brown from San Juan Diego. 9 12, 7 11, the top four finishers. 9 12 exact to $33.40. Here's the late double, 6 9, $20.80. 6 6 9, late pick three, $26.25. The pick five is $866. The pick six is $682.80. $33.40 at exact to $135.